All right, so here is my tower garden that I ordered last Saturday. Uh, and it only took till today to arrive. They're really awesome because they will either let you pay the full amount, which is $970. Uh, then you have your state tax with whatever state you're living in and you can pay it out that way or you can do uh, 12 no interest payments um, for one year and they will let you start with the first payment of 87 dollars and i think a little bit of change and uh and that's that they're real good they answer their phone uh, and emails uh, their customer service is is incredible and i would highly recommend them uh, and if you can bear with me because I'm filming this by myself, uh, I'm going to get set up and bear with me a moment. Uh, I'd say this weighs about 25 pounds. This is the lights. And this one weighs a little bit more, probably about 55 pounds-ish or so. So, there uh, we are. Hey, um, you're right next to me. Uh, my name is John, and uh, I'm really interested in the tower garden. I'm interested in vertical farming. Uh, this is a, a new interest of mine, uh, just with the way our world is is changing rapidly, and with the way that uh, let me switch up a little bit. Why? Your Okay. Uh, with the way everything's evolving, with our carbon footprints and everything else, I just uh, I've always had a green thumb as it is, uh, as it is, uh, and so I'm very interested in doing this. But anyways, uh, so here is me. Unpackaging my tower garden. I'm not going to do this. In fact, I'm paying. <laughs> I'm paying to do this. This is this is uh, money out of my pocket. I should say my my wife's pocket. Uh, super exciting. Oh yeah. Cool. Super high quality. All right. Well, let's get this out of the way for a moment. Looks good. Just checking. Make sure everything's still working there. Alright, here we go. Alright. Let's open up this box here. And uh, I've already kind of delved into the world of hydroponics, aeroponics a little bit. Got a little, uh, little tower set up. Uh, mini sitting right over there out of the camera angle. It uh, is a hydroponic setup and it's got uh, 12 hey, pot spaces. Star, Daddy. Very nice, buddy. Uh, and it's able to uh, it's able to grow some good lettuce or herbs. Uh, I enjoy it from uh, sprout to full grown, about 21 to 27 days. It grows pretty fast. So. Here are the uh, instructions. Uh, we've got tower home garden, uh, and then a real easy layout for the set of instructions. Uh, looks real, pretty basic. Pretty much everything you need to have. Uh, it says that we need a level. Uh, I, I'm guessing for the wheelbase when you put it together. Okay, now well, let's get started with this. Comes with the nutrients, nutrient solutions, nuts and bolts, wing nuts. Uh, here. Oh, this must be the float. The float.
got the pump. Got the pump right here. Seems pretty heavy duty. So nice. This is what pumps the water from the base to the top and then showers the roots as it comes back down. Pretty neat. I've done a lot of research on this. I've watched all of Troy's videos uh, on Tower Gardens uh, before I bought this so that I had a basic understanding. These are for these are the pods for the microgreens. Uh, and then these are the normal growing pods. Another set of micronutrients made here in the United States. Wheels, tubing for the pump, looks like our measuring cup and a pH test kit, and then the top to the tower. Very nice. So, when I was watching Troy do it. He pulled the base out first. These are the uh, I didn't know. The box it looks like is uh, the base. Looks like we have oh, these are our these are our seed uh, pods for sprouting new seeds. Very nice little greenhouses. Stuck so here some uh, to-go containers for some food. <laughs> All right. Wow, this is heavy duty. This is real nice. Definitely a solid system. Very impressive. Of course, for the price, we're gonna want that. Our tubing. Okay. And I do believe the top. but I believe this is what brings the rain from the top. I'm uh, real interested in what vertical farming has to offer. Uh, I'm aware there are, are many different platforms uh, that we can use for vertical farming. Uh, we have a flat method uh, with vertical lights over the flats that are raised in vertical shelves. We have the vertical towers such as this. And then we also have uh, freight training with vertical farming to uh, uh, vertical panels, which is another method, uh, and then there's also vertical hydroponics as well, which is in a, all have their pros and cons. Another place that interests me is the uh, 
hydroponic farming that is uh, self-perpetuating to the use of fish and utilizing fish waste in the suspension and then uh, fertilizing your plants and then filtering that water and then running it back into your fish ponds. Uh, really neat method there as well. Here. I'm just curious as to how long it'll take to put this thing together. I'm pretty, I don't usually use instructions when I'm putting stuff together, but of course, as I'm doing this for, for the benefit of others as well, I want to make sure I'm following them to the T. Alright, so next it says to get the wheels on. Flip it over. There you are. Next step, do not plug the pump unit singly until it is complete and the reservoir has been filled. We don't want a uh, dry pump to ruin it. Uh, so it says tie a loop to prevent water from running down the cord to the outlet. So my understanding is here's the pump. Box this. There we go. So we have oh, we have the suction which seem to go to the back of the pump here. We have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. We will unwind it. Down, we'll create a loop in it together so that water does drip down. When it's plugged in, it will drip down that loop prior to getting to the wall. Great. And we have the suction cups here. So you just put enough pressure here and kind of spin it and it seems to fit right into the uh, hole. That's great. Uh, one, two, and three. Yep, there it goes. And four. Now it's got a little flange on the outside here that you can pull on to cause the suction to break. So obviously it would make sense that we want the flange to be to the outside of the of the suction so that it's like that. I don't know how close I need to get. That way you can kind of pull and it'll pop the suction. Very neat. Okay, so that step is done. That's step two. It then says, okay, so this pump. All right, so there is a groove and in here, and this is where the cord goes through, it shows the pump going to the bottom of the reservoir in the middle. With the tube facing up, obviously, is what we need, so. It suctions to the bottom, before it comes through here, probably bring this loop up just a little bit so that we have a place for the water to drip off of so it doesn't follow the line down, just like so. That way when we plug it into the wall, 
there will be no issues. We can obviously readjust that as needed. Now to step two. Step three. Bring the first tower, piece of the tower, A, B, A, B. So we're going to go with A. Very interesting. I didn't mark. It also comes with a timer, uh, which is real neat. Uh, there are only two plugs that need to be plugged in in this entire system. Uh, one is the timer, and the other, oh golly, it looks like, pardon me, but it looks like this is set up to be a, a digital timer. We'll find out when we get to it. It's also got two plugs coming out of it where you plug into the wall. And it goes to here. Where is it in the box, Daddy? Oh, yeah? Where is it? It's a, it's a, don't play with it, please. What is it? It's, it's for Daddy's garden. on the pieces themselves. I thought they would have been like AB. So it looks like they're universal and they fit together uh, or you fit them together. So we have a lid. Oh, there we go. Here's the base. That's why it wasn't making sense. Look, Daddy, here's a colonel bowler. Good job, buddy. So here we are with the top. Bowler is. This doesn't seem to fit in a specific way. Other than. I don't mean to wander around and cause a bunch of dead time, I'm just kind of showing uh, what the uh, process is, start to finish for somebody who's excited to uh, start their own vertical grow in the house. Uh, this thing is, uh, it, I, it doesn't seem to me, of course, I'm not the end all be all, but so far with the, how solid this base is, unless you were to pick it up and throw it down or smack it with a hammer really hard, I don't see that it would be leaking for any reason, uh, which is good because if you're renting a place, you obviously don't want to be uh, causing damage in the home. So this is telling me now we want the 23 inch, so we want the 23 inch, which is the longer one. This is step three. <clears throat> and we are going to run these all the way down into the base. Through A. Oh, it is marked. So I don't have 
on the best value. So, okay, I can see it now that I'm looking. There's an A, B, A, B, A, B, and what this is telling us is it wants it to slide through A and A on opposite sides. So, So then we bring this, we flip it over, like so. If I'm doing this correctly, and I hope that I am, I definitely don't like doing things twice. bag of wing nets and bolts that comes with it along with washers. So we're going to get down and dirty here and uh, see what we can do. Uh, it looks like it needs one washer for each one, one wing nut for each one. The, the part that I'm having problems with a little bit is the inverting it. Uh, my brain has a little bit of an issue with inverting things. <clears throat> I don't know if I'm special in that or, or what, but uh, a little bit of a lack of light is not happening either. It seems like. Because basically these these poles, uh, these pieces of metal, are what hold it together. Keep it solid. Seems to be a fairly good <coughs> uh, setup. This is going to go like this. Again, do A, right here. So they will be opposite each other, they just don't seem to be. Right. Thank you for your patience, and again, if you feel the need to fast forward through this, this is more of an instructional, instruct, instructional video uh, regarding putting it together for a first timer that's never done it. Although I did watch a lot of the videos, it's still having a little bit of a Okay, so there's that first one. So that's step three. And then this 
this tells me that once that is done, yeah, uh, then we can go ahead and put this on to the base.